you on about? Oh, I want you guys to see this video. Kathy, Katie Porter destroys Big Pharma CEO. I'm gonna make a reaction video to this shit. Watch this. Is it time to defund Big Pharma? So you're the CEO of AbV, which makes the cancer drug Imbruvica. Do you know what the annual price of Imbruvica was for a patient taking the standard three pills per day in 2013? 130,000, so what? $30,000. But today, for those same three pills. What, whatever I feel like, how about that? 169,000. We have 181, but we can agree that there was a significant increase. Yeah, the FBI so? didn't spend any money to create a Bruvik. It was invented by a smaller company, Pharmaceutical. Yeah, so? Which you later acquired, correct? We paid $21 billion for the company, correct? 21, 21 billion, stupid. 21 bill. You spend that like it's water, but it's a lot to us. Expensive to acquire them. Mr. Gonzalez, do people need less of this medicine in Bruvika to treat lymphoma now? Uh, no. Yes and no. No, there's not fewer people with lymphoma, but there is serious competition for BTK inhibitors. So technically, Mrs. Congresswoman bitch, we need to make this money back quick. No. Now, you told us that you spent $2.54 billion. Yeah, Karen, we did. For Imbruvica, even though the drug didn't get any better. The drug didn't get any better because the day the drug's invented is what it is forevermore. But you got to study the medicine in new indications to see if it works for more people. That costs a lot of money. Really, it was all for these innovations and indications. An indication is a new disease. So it's potentially treating a brand new kind of cancer. It's not a one of these. It's people's lives. It could be you that's saved by this miracle drug. So when you do indications, that's that's it called the disease. That's what an indication is for. It's what's it indicated for by the FDA. That's what it means. Which are designed to keep competitors off the market. They're not designed to keep competitors off the market. They're designed to help more people and make more money, which is a good thing for both. Fucking Karen. And find new sales opportunities. So I want to look at what other money Abby spends doing its business. Whatever we feel like. How about that? This is America. I can do what I want with my company. You filed 165 patents for Imbruvica. So what? I'll file 166 on your ass. Yeah. You got nothing to say. Mm. Real shit. You pay 21 billion for a company, you gotta get your money back. You think this is a game? It's not a game. It's not a fucking game. Is it time to defund Big Pharma? Nope. Who are, first of all, who are you? Who is that guy? That sounded like NPC. Who is that? Is that you, Nibbles? Is it time to defund Big Pharma? Big Pharma and every other business funds itself. There's no person funding it. Like you could just defund it. It's a company. What are you gonna defund my lemonade stand? Stupid shit is that? My cat knows better than that. Right, Nibbles? Yeah. Tell him, Nibbles. CEO of AbV, which makes the cancer drug Imbruvica. Do you know what the annual price of Imbruvica was for a patient taking the standard? If I were him, I'd say, I don't know. Just a little weigh in it. I don't know. Three pills per day in 2013. How about you stop asking what price the drug is and ask the fact that that person's alive now because of the drug. That's priceless, Karen bitch. $130,000. But today, for those- what, what, what was that? Look at that, look at that fake melodrama. Today. Look at it. Today. Dollars. But today, for those same three pills. It's 169,000. So what? We have 181. Yeah, it keeps going up. There was a significant increase. The Abbey itself didn't spend any money to create a Bruvica. It was invented by a smaller company, Pharmacyclics, which you later acquired, correct? Bought them out. We paid 21 billion. 21 bill. Company, one of the biggest it was deals ever. to acquire them. Mr. Gonzalez, do people need less of this medicine? In Gonzalez, straight boss. Uh, no. Now, you told us that you spent $2.54 billion for R&D. That's a lot. Okay. Even though the drug didn't get any better. How does it get better? 
How is it supposed to get better? How does that work? Explain that to me, woman who's never been in pharma a day in her life. How is it supposed to get better? The molecule shifts? It, sh it morphs into a new drug? What the fuck are you smoking? Do you know anything about the business? The drug has to stay the same, man. It literally, by law, stays the same. It's the same molecule. It was all for these innovations and indications. These innovation, these clinical trials that you do to try to save more people. Which are designed to keep competitors off the market and find new sales opportunities. So I want to look at what other money Abby spends doing its business. You filed 165 patents for Ambruvica. Yeah, so the 21 billion don't go out the drain. To keep competitors off the market. Mr. Gonzalez, how much did you spend, you. Did we spend on litigation and settlements from 2013 to 2018? Uh, I, I don't have that number off hand. I won't be happy to give it to you. Okay, $1.6 billion. $2.45 billion on R&D. $1.6 billion in litigation. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, you're 100% wrong because you're looking at litigation and settlements over six years, right? What are you lying for? You fucking lying. I could pull that up in two seconds. That's why these sheets come in handy. That's over six years. Psst. Psst. Fucking lying. Look at this misleading bullshit. R&D for one year. One year of R&D is six billion. One year. Six and a half. Settlements and litigation, 1.6 over... And settlements. What about marketing? And I won't be happy to give it to you. Okay, 1.6 billion dollars, 2.45 billion on R&D, 1.6 billion in litigation and settlements from, from 2013 to 18, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's six years, and it's 1.8. So that's 300 a year. Uh, I, I don't have that number off hand. I won't be happy to give it to you. Okay, 1.6 billion dollars, 2.1.6. Over six years is 267, right? 267 million. And R&D last year for Abby was 6.5. So she wants to make a pie chart. I can make a pie chart, pie chart too, bitch. Watch, watch and learn. Which number's bigger? Shit, you confused. Look at my chart. My chart's the truth. You trying to make them shits look the same. The fuck is wrong with you? Four or five billion on R&D, 1.6 billion in litigation. Can you imagine being like the grunt that works for this bitch? That is like car cutting out the cardboard? Like, we're gonna trick them with this construction paper. I went to kindergarten, I can do this. And let's make it look similar. And so what about marketing and advertising? How much does Abby spend on that? I got that number too. Marketing and advertising, we spend about $4 billion a year. Yep, $4.7 billion. Wait, where'd they get that R&D number? This is, I got mine from the 10Q. Of compensation, 2013 to 2018. Why would you, see, you do one, what? they're doing one for, she keeps switching. First she wants it for an annual, then she wants it for six years. Well, obviously the six year one's distort the actual amount. It's probably on average about $60 million a year. That's probably more than that. 334 on for year. This is the CEO of the company, who by the way, has presided over its success. It's been one of the most successful companies in America, employs tens of thousands of people. I'm not sure what the fuck she does. He knows how much money they spend. He's just thinking C-suite, by the way. She goes, look at the arrogance. Try this on for size. It's a multi-billion dollar, it's one of the biggest companies in America. Try 334 on for size. Try that on for size. How much did Abby spend on stock buybacks and shareholders, stock, stock buybacks and dividends? However much it wants. Shareholders from However much I want. 2018. Well, stock buybacks, if you actually look at just poor stock buybacks, it would be about $13 billion. Dollars. Yeah. Stock buybacks um, and dividends is the question, sir. Dividends, and they have to come back with that, a number for that over that period of time. $50 billion. Yeah, so what? When you tell us that R&D justifies those price increases, the big pharma fairy tale is one of groundbreaking R&D that justifies astronomical prices. But the farmer reality is that you spend most of your company's money making money for yourself. Yeah, that's what a company is. That's exactly what a fucking company is. Wake up and smell the coffee. And your shareholders. 
making money for yourself and shareholders. What you want me to do, lose money for myself and my shareholders? Shit. Fucking bozo. I don't know who votes for these people. Like that was, who, and who's impressed by shit like that? I don't know, man, I'm heated, I'm pissed. Abby's a good ass company, man. Saved a lot of people's lives. I pray she doesn't need Abby drugs, like Botox. I pray she doesn't need those. You know, I have a friend who reached out to me. They have a three-year-old girl, right? Three-year-old girl who has a very rare form of le leukemia that is not treated by any other medicine, okay? You with me, camera guy? You with me, Anon? Guess what drug they're trying on her that is starting to work? This poor little girl is going to die. But there's a drug called Venclexta by guess who? Abvi. That's right. Abvi, the same company that makes Humira, the same company that makes Imbruvica. They also make Venclexta. That's right, Anon. And Venclexta might just save this little girl's life. She's three years old. Big thing on Twitter about it. So if this woman had her way, there'd be no Vinclexta for the three-year-old girl. It would just be, sorry, if there was only a company that had the incentive to make to save your life and they would get paid, we'd have a solution. Thank God, you know, most people aren't fooled by this shit. A couple of Bernie bros, maybe. And yes, even Botox, lowly Botox for wrinkles pays money so that they can do a lot of other stuff. And this is a partial list of drugs. There's a lot more out there we don't know about. They've sold off. They're not big enough to even mention, but they're game changers. People with, this is one of Abby's oldest drugs, people with cystic fibrosis who have a dysfunctional pancreas, they take pig enzymes. This is a pill of pig enzymes. But because of that pill of pig enzymes, that's like 60 years old, abby has been able to slowly grind up to be a successful company, taking chances on all kinds of medicines. And they whiff. For every pharmacyclix, they spent $4 billion on a company called Stemcentrix. The drugs didn't work. Do they get their money back from that? Do we get a hearing over that? Does this lady say, oh, well, you know, sorry you lost the $4 billion on Stemcentrix. I'm not even sure Abby's going to make their money back on the $21 billion they spent on pharmacyclics. It's all bullshit. Maybe I should take George, George Santos' seat. And we switch spots. I went to prison, he went to Congress. I go to Congress, he goes to prison. What's up? What's up? Switch, switch the script, flip the script. Switch the game up. I would grill some people. In that, in that hot seat. I'll get Laura Duca down there and grill her ass. So you say there are two genders? There's more than two genders, huh? What do you call this? <laughs> what do you call that? <laughs> Still think there are two genders? <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, I have no issue, with, by the way, with her being a woman or her being a man or her being either or both. No issue whatsoever. I don't want to make this seem like this is an anti-woman thing. A lot of times people think that, but I don't have a bone like that in my body. Um, when I say Karen, it's not misogyny. It's not uh, something against women. It's against... Um, the stupidity. I know no problem uh, you know with, with a woman or a man having a message. I'll attack the person regardless. I do have an issue with her being a dumbass. I completely agree. And I had plenty of other men that I would attack for this. It was a man. 
And I would try it. I would call them a male Karen or something. I don't know. It's not a uh, dig on her on her gender. Um, that's the great, Russell is asking a great question. Drug companies would never price a medicine at a price that didn't give them the maximum revenue. And there's a little chart we learned in business school. We paid big money to get these business school lessons. Check this out. I'm going to give you one of the secrets. This is like revealing Scientology secrets right now. We got, I hope you guys are paying attention. Somebody's going to record this, I bet. They're going to yell at me. You've got price, okay, times, this dot is a times. They also teach that. That's been passed down from generation to generation of Rockefellers and, and other robber barons. Times volume, okay, is revenue. Now, if you make this too high, this will go down. And then this will go down. So you are trying to optimize revenue. So you got to think about just how much price and the elasticity, like elastic, of supply and demand. It kind of looks like this. This is a supply curve. As the price goes down, it goes up. Demand goes down. This is demand. This is price. And it's the opposite. When price is low, demand is very high. I guess this is demand at low. Well, maybe this is supply. Or maybe this is units. High price. Well, maybe we got this backwards. <laughs> Low price, very, this is a supply curve, this is a demand curve. They meet at equilibrium. You price too high, demand is very low. You price too low, demand becomes very high. That's it. Nothing special. You raise this too much, this drops. You rate, you put this too low, this will go up a lot. So no drug company in their right mind would have their price way too high. What happens if you put your price way too high? This is demand. Demand would be very low. This is zero, right? So what would stop me from putting my drug price at a million dollars uphill? I would have no demand, right? and I would have no revenue. With no volume or demand, this will be zero too. So every drug company prices it just enough to get volume, but not so high that they have what's called demand destruction. Well, you could put it high, that's great. Insurance has to pay for it, so everyone wins. Drug company wins, patients still get their drugs. That's what happened to Daraprim. But there is a limit to pricing. I mean, you can't put a, a million dollars a pill. People just won't take it. Yeah, demand destruction. It's a common, common theme. Insurance companies never fight drug companies, especially not for serious, serious uh, illness. Well, some companies have, but. A million dollars a pill would be three, four hundred million dollars a patient. There's just no, nobody's ever going to pay that. They'd just as soon say, sorry, we're, we're not covering it. But yeah, there are two million dollar drugs, four million dollar drugs. Yeah, I don't know. What can you do? That just ticked me off. Yeah, Zolgensma stretches the... The, the benefit argument. You guys hear about Palm 2? 